Hey guys, and welcome back to Sin Plays Monkey Minds. And today, uh, I'm actually recording this after I've recorded the episode because I messed up the intro. But again, we're going to play, uh, we're going to go off and explore a bit, and we're going to go try and find some, um, just try and find a, a new planes biome out of spawn uh, that's in 1.6 generation. Uh, and I think we're going to start off with looking at a. Uh, we're looking at something in some desert so and then i think hopefully we'll find we'll move on to some planes i hope <laughs> uh, so yeah guys sit back relax and enjoy the next uh 20 minutes of fun lp gameplay this is a, an exciting episode of gone exploring i am a very long way from spawn let's say 5,000 blocks and i was running through the desert and i found a wonderful wonderful thing a spawner yay now, I'm not sure if it's a skeleton spawner or a um, zombie spawner. Okay, it's a zombie spawner, so that's good. Now, I'm assuming this is going to be the chest. So let's have a look. And saddles. Okay, that's pretty good. Let's hope there's another chest in here. There is. Projector protection. Some food. I'll leave the... You know, actually, I'm going to take that wheat because I'm going to turn that into bread. Uh, what's in there? There's only more wheat. I'll take that to make that into bread to also to feed the horse. This is in a three chest dungeon, is it? No. Okay. Um, that's pretty cool. Um, I've been around uh, <laughs> a long way, so what I'm planning on doing is I'm going to keep going. I'm looking for a a plane, a horse biome, uh, a pl horse biome, a plains biome to put my horse in, uh, to find more horses and to set up shop. Uh, I'm bounded at the moment by this spruce forest or winter or was it Tiagna or whatever it's called um, so I'm gonna keep going having a keep having a look for that uh, I did say that I would we would be doing the wither next but I think I want to get this done I want I wanted to go exploring and I found some cool stuff so I want to show you guys all right guys I'll be uh, back when I get to a plains biome speak to you soon okay guys now I was I was continuing around and I found some more stuff that's still loading but we have a temple so i'm fairly certain this has not been explored um ah monkey's on excellent uh hopefully he's not too evil and he will sleep when uh when needed all right that's it i can't be bothered I'm trying to find a way and i'm just going to dig it in to make myself an escape path just in case i need it because that is always handy say hello to him uh, while we're <laughs> while we're recording so we'll break our way in oh it's on the other side no wonder i couldn't find my way in so let's put a light there while we're coming in and I found the quickest way literally to get down to the bottom here is to go straight down chuck a torch in so you can see but yeah just come straight down um, now I have found one of these before and I didn't record it um, I didn't know if it was going to be awesome or not and it was pretty good I found a saddle uh, mainly I'm here just for the gold and horse armor yeah that is brilliant so that means we are in new terrain so that way we will be able to find um we will be able to find um name tags and everything like that here so oh, i'm very excited about that and we put it on our horse so that's good so we have our first horse with our first bit of armor so let's go and say hello to him hello <laughs> and armor there we go do a quick look at him. Yeah, you like armor, don't you? Yeah, you do. Maybe diamond armor would work on him as well. Um, I don't know about gold. He's quite dark, so gold would probably work as well. But I think it's the iron armor, at least for the moment, will definitely suit him. Okay, guys. So I'm gonna go away again. Hopefully, I'll find a plains biome. Otherwise, I know where one is. Um, the dragon master who found the horses is still currently searching that area, so I don't really want to sort of invade on his space. But yeah, guys, I will be back in a minute. Hey, guys, I have made it. So I found a plains biome. As you can see, this is 1.6 generated because we have some donkeys. So, again, not an amazing find. Oh, it is an amazing find because we found 1.6. But um, we have some donkeys back at spawn, so it's not the be-all and end-all of it. But we are in a extreme um, extra-large biomes uh, map, so... Um, yeah, we will have a very large plains. Hopefully this isn't the one that, uh, that's being explored 
by uh, Dragon Master. I will ask him what those sort of chords are, and hopefully we're not intersecting or not using the same one. But again, I don't think he would mind too much if we are using the same one. Uh, what I'm going to have a look for is I'm going to have a look for a, quite a nice area to set up in. Uh, whoa. <laughs> uh, I am looking... It's really nice we've got spruce on one side, forest on the other, uh, and a nice big plains biome. I'm thinking about building like a nice big sort of city, like a village city here. Uh, oh, I don't like... Oh, someone's already been here, I think. Yeah, so this is where... Um, this must be where... Uh, where Dragon Master is, but that's okay, that's okay. Yep, this is exactly his base. So that's fine, that's fine. Uh, I will speak to him about maybe taking some land off him. Um, taking, borrowing, removing, anything of, of the sort is fine. But what I might do is I might have a quick look up here at this base. I'm sure it's already been uh, dissected. I do not like, well, you know, it, it's something I can't really choose, but I don't like I don't like taking a village that's sort of all over the place, if that makes sense. Like, it's up, down, left, right, but I think, like, intersecting. I just like it to be very similar. Um, so, yeah, I think we're going to have a quick look. Uh, I can see that turns into extreme hills just there, so we might go down this way and have a look. I don't know which way Dragon Master will have explored, but either way, we can definitely, definitely find something. Um, <laughs> and uh, a monkey is... Um, promoting his channel that he knew I, I told him I was going to record, so... <laughs> uh, so, always good to promote. We will be doing a live stream together. Wow, look at that ravine. Nice and clear cut through the world. Um, I won't go too close. Um, as you can see, I am glitchy a little bit. Okay, so... Uh, my, um, Dragon Slayer has been here, and he's actually going to advertise all the channels, which is great. Uh, I do have them in uh, the link below, and I think that's the end of it here. So, if not, I may end up setting up in the hills, but I've already set up in the hills by in my LP world. I am set up in another one. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, so I'll have to... Um, I, I want to set up in a plains biome. A little bit flatter, a little bit easier to build in. Um, and that's what I was sort of looking for. Lots of pumpkins around. Don't have problem, troubles with pumpkins yet or anymore. Because we have some. Lots of animals here. Um, yeah, all pretty, pretty good. Uh, I th it may or may not be wiped out of horses. Um, I was just speaking to, to Dragon Master and he was saying that we... Or he has found two black ones two black horses which is great because I know a few people on the server have been anxious or sort of looking for some so yeah that's that's great um, really happy about that and yeah I think we'll be we'll be doing pretty well um, when we do this yeah the reason I want to flatland is because it's a lot easier to build a flatland it's a lot easier to clear land either add a layer or take away a layer or two um, so yeah, that's that's sort of the plans that I'm thinking about um, for the base. I'm not really sure. I'll probably have to put a wall around it just to protect it from the zombies because zombies are just insane. You start, you spawn in, and then bam, they're like, you know they're on you. Uh, <laughs> like white on rice is probably uh, <laughs> a good way of saying it. Um, I don't know how far he's explored. Hopefully, he might get lucky and he hasn't explored too much and hasn't pulled all the horses away. The area. He hasn't explored too much of the land. Oh, this is really dangerous, this ravine. Um, I have some wheat to heal the horse now because I found it in those dungeon chests. Um, but I prefer not to use it if I don't have to. So some cows. See, all these animals here that are here could have already been here. So, And I think we're coming to the end of the plains. As you can see, it's going into extreme hills there. We might get lucky and it might extend around this forest, but... I think it's going to end pretty quickly when it does. But, you know, the landscape here is largely untouched. Uh, any dungeons we find down here, and also hopefully if we go into the nether here, this will be sort of new terrain as well, which will make life pretty easy. And it still goes. Okay, okay. We might get lucky. We might get lucky. So, what I might do, instead of rambling on and talking about nothing, uh, which I like to do, so don't worry, I will do that for you. Uh, when the time is needed. Um, yeah, I will go away and I'll come back when 
I feel, um, or when I feel when I either when I don't find anything or when I find something pretty exciting. Now this forest is touching this edge. Hopefully it doesn't come all the way around from over there, but we know we can't control that there. So I'll go away and I'll see you guys in just a second. Hey guys, I am back again. So I have found some horses. So these are some ones that either haven't been found yet or are still um, or still haven't been moved across, which is great. Um, not the colours that I was sort of looking for, but we did find a village over here. So let's go in and have a look at the village. It doesn't look like to me that doesn't look like a blacksmith. Um, but who knows, I've been wrong in the past before, and those villager noises, I don't know if I can get used to them just yet. They are a little bit weird. Being nice, we can come out of his house. Uh, I would maybe like to protect these villagers, so I may end up... Um, it's weird. I don't know why it does this. It must be when the map is generated, it doesn't... Um, doesn't realize that there's a block here or the block comes in later so the water stream starts and it doesn't know what it's doing. Alright guys, do you want to go in? I'll lock you inside. Come on. Or might, I, might, I might wait for it to turn nighttime I'll, and then I'll lock them all inside. But while we're here, I'm going to switch back to the easy mode to see and let's see what they've got. So iron act for an efficiency 2. That's not too horrible. Cook fish, I hate catching fish. It's not a bad thing but it's just really annoying. Um, Emerald for compass. Okay. What have you got? Emerald for bookcases. I can just take your bookcases. Why would I? Why would I do that? So yeah, hopefully this guy will get inside. Try that. That might work better for you, buddy. Um, got a few more around here. Let's see what you got. Raw chicken. Not a bad trade. Not a bad trade. Wheat. It's not a bad trade either. If you get out of the way, I can put a block here for you. There you go. Are you guys not going to go into a house, or are you just going to stand around and just do? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, In bed. <laughs> um. So, yeah, perfect. So I have my emergency bed on me at all times. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this area. Oh, my jungle temple! <laughs> Sorry. I get very excited very quickly. Let's come up here. Uh, did you drop me anything? No, sad face. Now there is an entrance to them, yes there is. Now nothing up in here in a jungle temple, um, but if you make your way downstairs there are apparently, uh, wrong side, so apparently there are these levers and you can flip them and they do something and I'm not sure what they do. If you come in here right, see there's this tripwire here so there's a dispenser at the end so if you come across it fires an arrow at you. There you go. Um, I can take that arrow back. I can have a quick look. You know, four arrows. Thank you very much for that. And now there's another one. I can't remember where this next one is. Ah, oh, there you go. Right here. So if you come past here, fires it. We go, thank you very much for the arrows. Run back, take that one. And it can trigger it as much as it wants. Um, whereas here we have a quick look diamond and more gold so this has been a fairly productive trip what I might do I'll put that like that just to, so, to let people know that we have raided this one uh, one day we'll figure out what the combo is I don't know if the combo is different every time but it's definitely a combo that you can play around with to disable those but yeah, I think we'll have a quick look at this villager as we go past. I don't know if that's the best trade, but yeah, it's alright. It's alright. So what I might do is I might follow the edge of this round, um, get a bit closer in, try to unload these chunks so those villagers don't disappear, because uh, I may just uh, pull them into the to start the village um, and then use uh, a, the door a door trick or maybe even a decontamination room. Sorry, guys. And that way we can 
build a wonderful... Oh, God, don't kill my horsey. Oh. I found out where the ravine goes. Oh, God. <laughs> I don't want to be down here. This is just a pain. Oh, okay. Well, I fell into a ravine, and I don't want to do that again. So let's start making our way out. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a path up and just drag it up. I uh, drag it up, drag my horse with me, and that way we can get out uh, in a safe manner. So, yeah, guys, I will be back in a moment. Hey, guys, I am back again. So <laughs> after falling in the ravine and digging my way out. Um, <laughs> I am now back on my horse and we're doing all right. We're doing all right. So I'm going to sort of find where uh, Dragon Master's base is and then I will sort of move in about, let's say, a 400 block. I think I should be able to move about 400 blocks away from him, maybe towards the uh, Extreme Hills. So that way, if we want to, we can go caving in the Extreme Hills uh, biome so we can get, um, so we can get, um, what do you call it? emeralds because they only spawn in extreme hills by it. so it's always nice to pick up a few in the um, in the biome itself but again I think I'm gonna get the majority of mine from trading with villagers either um, you know wheat or those sort of things I'm gonna set, you know, if we have a wheat one we'll set up huge wheat farms uh, trying to get the good try to get really good villages so that we can reset their trades quite easily and there you go you can see so this is Dragon Masters here, so that's where it started. I'm gonna head out this way, um, so I am sort of I'm on the edge of a extreme hill and the winter forest one. Um, See so yeah, ya, guys. I will be right back. I'll probably set up a little house up here, um, and that way I, I did see his ender portal there, so that way I can come back to spawn quite easily, at least at the moment. Um, I most likely will set up my own ender portal, um, ender portal, my own, um, my own nether portal, jeez I'm getting tired, <laughs> and it's just showing, um, so yeah, that's pretty exciting, I think this is actually a pretty good area, um, not too many undulations in the land, I can make it kind of flat, close to the extreme hills over there, um, Again, what I might do is I might even use some of that extreme hills. I uh, may not. I'm just not sure at the moment. So I might, <coughs> I might set up shop here actually because I've got some wood over there. I've got some wood in my inventory. I've got oak, sapling, oak saplings here in my inventory as well. So I might plant them around and just start building some a general base here. Uh, and I'm, I'm still working on the one at spawn as well, but I definitely wanted to get started out here. So I just have a place to go and call my own uh, and just start on a few sort of builds that aren't restricted by the 30 by 30 plot. So yeah, guys, I will be... Um, Actually, I'm, I'm not sure of the length of this episode, but I think I'm going to call it it for an episode here, however long it is, because I know I have the Wither Fight tomorrow, so I'll probably tack on some extra footage to that as well. So yeah, guys, I hope you like this episode. It's a bit of exploring. I did try to do a bit of talking, talk about where I sort of want to go with this, um, with this uh, Let's Play. Um, yeah, guys, if you've liked what I've done today, please subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, and also, if you if you like the video, chuck a, a thumbs up in there as well. It always helps my channel. And, yeah, guys, as always, have a good day. See you now.